Hello everybody, hope everyone's having a good week. It's Chili Mango here and we're going to play playing The Long Dark. So, let's get to it. So, we're picking up from last time, uh, where we are in Coastal Highway. Um, I did sleep an extra hour after finished streaming because I realised I hadn't saved it. So, uh, time has passed a little bit here now. So, we uh, looted everything in this trailer, so we're just going to get going now. So, as you can tell, the weather's not too bad. Just a little bit windy. It is going dark, but what we're going to try and do is uh, get down to the garage before nightfall, and then we can sleep there. So, while we're heading down, let's see if we can find some saplings. So we do need some of those to be curing so that we can make the bow. So we're just going to go a little bit off-piste here. And hopefully follow the road down. sure that there is some to the right so just make our way over to there we'll take a look and see if we can see any die if I don't get some food soon getting down <laughs> as carefully as we can So we've got quite a few uh, sticks, but I mean, we'll keep uh, getting some more. Just so we can have a add a few more to our pile. Um, back at our base. I always like to leave quite a few there, just for future uh, mango. Just in case anything goes disastrously wrong, there are matches and enough to start a fire. I would say for my top tip for, for beginners who are starting the long dark is literally pick up every stick. Because you'll never know, you'll be in a blizzard or something will happen and you'll need that fire to last a long time. So that's usually my top tip for new players. Collect everything. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. <laughs> and then as soon as you kind of get a little bit to grips with maps, where I say I'm about, I wouldn't say I'm a pro, but I know a few bits and pieces about the maps. Uh, I feel a little bit more confident in where I'm going. But I still can't see any saplings. I'm assuming there's a lot less on interloper rather than stalker. I mean, uh, I have to say I am quite proud. I don't think I've ever lasted five days in interloper. So I think that's my record now beaten. It's very exciting. Yeah, I think I've tried it like interloper like uh, about six times. <laughs> And um, yeah, I think after a couple of days, two days maximum, I died. Once got surrounded by a timber wolf pack, and that ended very, very badly. So, just get my stone out just in case there's any wolves. I don't think it'll do much. I think if you hit them on the head. It scares them off, but uh, 
I uh, tried that at the beginning of this run on uh, my first video, which I'll uh, leave a little link above now to that one, and uh, I missed. And then proceeded to die. So yeah, I wouldn't rely on the uh, stone method. Like it's getting a bit blustery. Maybe a storm's coming on. <laughs> right, so we've met up to the road now. Well, we've not done very well with the sapling hunt, but anyway. Keep walking. So I just carry on down here. Do, 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 do. So I have to say, going on a little tangent, um, you know, I love this game. I think it's pretty. I think just walking with all the sound effects with the music, it's so calming. And then you get this music, <laughs> which is very foreboding. And then all of a sudden you're very stressed. Um, but I absolutely love this game. And um, especially the community as well. You know, I watch a lot of everyone else's videos, get top tips from them. And actually, you know, if I ever do mention anything and I've watched a video, you know, I will um, let you know who it is and leave a link up above. Just so you can see the pro at work. I actually spent uh, the last watch it, a video by uh, Bashro all about fishing. Yeah, so I didn't know was that was that there is uh, salt water and fresh water in this game, which I know sounds a bit ridiculous. Did not know that there was two different kinds and there was different fish in each of them. So uh, that's what I learnt. Sweet. If anyone um, is looking to find out a little bit about fishing, the mechanics of it, how best to do it, especially with the uh, scurvy issue at the moment, the needing vitamin C, I'd really recommend his video. And like I say, a link is above to his video. Need a drink. Oh, burdock. Now another fact about me. I've never used burdock ever in this game. I actually don't know what it does. So we're going to be trying that out. Perfect. So let's have a look. Excuse me, sir. Me, I'm just gonna get a drink. Perfect, thank you. It's getting night time now. Need to make our way over to the garage. To be fair, I don't think we'll drop off much. 
but uh, we'll just get her rid of a little bit of weight for travelling. Um, and then I think we'll head over to uh, Mystery Lake. Oh, there's the mine. Won't be going in there today. I think that's the mine with the aurora. So if you go in there, there's obviously a little bit that you can loot. And then there is a lift that you can take when the aurora's on and get down to the bottom. And there's some loot down there. It is a dead end though. So if the aurora turns off while you're down there, you are stuck until it starts again. So which is very stressful. So um, we might come back and do that one. I bet now that that's the wrong mine. And I'm talking utter nonsense. But there is a mine that you can get stuck down and I do think it's that one. I think I've only done that once. And I took about seven one kilogram bear meats with me. And a load of water just in case I got stuck down there. Would drink almost anything about now. Mr. Owl. In here. No, that's him. And nothing in the back. Did it? Would have expected a few more wolves. Feel like we've not seen much. Unless it's just the game being kind to me. At the beginning of the interloper run. But, hmm. So I think we're getting close to the garage now. Yes, it is. So let's get inside. It's cold and chilly. I see you, Mr. Wolf. Um, scared me a little bit, but anyway. Oh, he's now seen me. Uh, just go around him. A wide circle. Oh, let's see if we can get in. Oh, no, 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 no. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Ooh. That was close. Pinnack. Yeah, you go. Right, I wonder if I can uh, get out. Weather is a bit too near. Let's go. Yeah, yeah let's go. Need. Run, run, Water. run, 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 run. No, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Go. And we're safe. Perfect. 
So we do need to tidy all this up. So I've got quite a few books here to read. I'll tell you what, what I'll do is uh, at the end of this, I'll write down everything that we've got here. We've got one book there. I mean, we've read that, so we might as well leave that. Put that there. Yeah, I'll write down everything that we've got here in my notes at the end. Drop this. Just because it's a bit heavy. Anything else? Lots of spray paint. Mm. Anything else? See anything? Got quite a bit of fire stuff there. A bit of coal. A little bit of food, not a lot. Keep an eye on that. Anyway, let's go and put this wood in here. It's like I was saying, this is our like emergency stash. When we come back here, got quite a lot to get us warm. Matches, wood, and we'll be able to get ourselves sorted. Mm. So let me think. take the insulated flask <laughs> I don't actually use them but I like to collect them which I know is uh, silly but anyway I just like to have them all in my main base at Mystery Lake uh, I've already got one yeah we only need six painkillers I won't use all of them just um, leave them and then uh, we'll start harvesting all those clothes shortly but yeah I think we're getting there let's take that let's go right so I think we'll um, harvest our clothes oh, the ones we're not going to be using and then we'll uh, eat drink sleep. Next ones. We'll just make these uh, mushrooms because like we say we don't have any antibiotics so we'll get these made next time we make some water we are quite low on water so i do need to uh, sort that out soon so let's eat these we'll eat some peaches like I say, I'm smashing them open, so I will use uh, a little bit of calories. Hopefully, uh, we'll get a can opener soon. That's Getting not really thirsty. Okay, that's not really an issue once you get to uh, level three and cooking. Then we don't need a can opener. Let's have a drink, and then uh, let's sleep. 10 hours, we'll be warm enough. Nice. Right, cool. Yeah, I think we're good there, I think. Leave everything. Yeah. We don't need anything there, do we? <laughs> Let's get to it. Let's 
So, I don't know what to do. I've been thinking. I did fancy going to Mystery Lake. That's where I usually have my main base in the world. Where I have all the stuff. But, I just thought that we are near the mine that takes us to Pleasant Valley. And I would like to go there sooner rather than later. Because I'd like to go to Ash Canyon. Get the tactical backpack. And uh, the crampons. And then when we come back down there, go to Timberwolf Mountain and go to the summit. Because we do have a hacksaw. And then we should be able to get some of the good loot there. Um, I think there's a hammer. Timberwolf Mountain, I think. Um, I don't know if it's guaranteed, but uh, possibly. So, uh, yeah. I think we'll go to Pleasant Valley. I think we'll change our plan. Now, where are, where are the crows? Where are they? Can't see them. Oh, they're there. <laughs> Never mind. Carry on. Do like Pleasant Valley. I think it's my favourite. Just like how uh, open it is, and I um, like the forest, the birch forest. Mm. Thought I heard something. I didn't. Um. Um. Actually, that second. guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. I gone past my turning. Where's the um? Is it? I think I've gone too far. Um. Yeah, I don't think I should have gone this way. Um. Is it? Oh, there's the road. No, I'm too far down. Uh, where's the lookout thing? Can I see that anywhere? Too low. I should have gone further up. Um, can I go up here? I need to try and find the lookout. Um, is this gonna give me a sprain? No. Oh, oh, there it is. Can't There's the lookout. Perfect. Yeah, we'd gone the wrong way. We needed to be a bit higher. So, uh. So some rabbits there. Maybe uh, go in here, just loot these qu quick. A drink. We desperately need some water. Drinks. Nothing. See anything? Mm, that's pretty. Right. So let's try this one. Don't ever remember these uh, little cabins. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, matches. That'll yes. Come Thank you. Another spray paint. I have to say, I'm not short on spray paint and uh, painkillers. Need to find some place to escape this so, cold. Now that I know where I am, there's two ways of getting this. There's right and there's left. So I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way is quicker. Um, I mean, maybe. Uh, let's just go right. Oh, there's a rope. I mean, 
We might as well take the right up there anyway. See if I can get up there. No. Um, no. We'll just take that rope. I didn't even know this rope was here. Let's go. Just this tiny cave. Feather. Feather. Um, nothing. Um, take, take that. Is it literally just this tiny like, ridge? Wait. I'm um, so cold. I'm warming up could... again. the other side. Uh, well, I'm furious. Where does this go? What's the point in this? Um, no. What is the point? Um, I mean, what should I do? Should I come down Die here? if I don't drink something soon. Um, <laughs> Billy Goat. So, top tip for Billy Goatin: just make sure you crouch. <laughs> I was gonna say it avoids sprains, but then I got one. Uh, it usually just means you're a bit safer. Well, that was a waste of time. Can I go up here? Nope. Uh, I wonder if I can. Billy goat round that. Um, no, I'm not gonna make that, am I? Nope. Oh well. Well, that didn't go well, did it? Let's just go the normal way. see the point in having painkillers taking them when you've got sprained wrists or sprained ankles I usually just leave it a little bit I think um, it's like two to four hours and then they're all healed so I don't usually don't usually heal them Bends around here, and then this takes you up to the mine, I think. Yeah, it's stuck there. But we'll just go and check out this place. Tell you what, the problem is with Will is he's very loud when he's running. I am usually Astrid. No, nothing. Now we have no water now. to make some. Um might make it when we're in the mine. So we didn't do very well on the sapling run. 
not too chilly either. But, hmm. Thought we would have got a few more. I'm sure I missed them. I've never felt so cold in my life. Tell you what, the one thing we did forget to do was film my lantern. Oh well. I'm not sure I can carry much more. So we'll do the same as last time. We'll pick up all of the uh, coal so that at least it respawns next time we come. And then we'll leave some either outside the entrance or inside for when we come back through. Some water. This way. <sighs> Nothing around the crates. Oh, some simple tools. Quite heavy now. So the only thing is we do need to be careful with all this running. Just because we don't have a bedroll. Which I keep forgetting about. We can't just uh, sleep anywhere. So just need to be careful. But we don't get... We don't get too tired. And then we're stuck. Oh, accelerant. It's always helpful. This. I won't pick up them. No, leave them. Check down here. Oh, this is my favourite top tip. So, for um, people on PC, if you get your lantern out and then you click place, which is your right button, it places it on the floor but you can walk with it so it really annoys me when you're carrying it and there's like a glare to your right of your screen so uh, I like to uh, do this especially when I'm walking to um, what's it called the forsaken airfield because that is such a long walk I don't like the glare so I do do this quite a lot when we're doing big runs just feel like it's a bit nicer so we'll go around uh, and loot that box. We are getting very heavy now. We'll just uh, have a drink. We're just taking a little bit of damage, but I don't want to take too much with us going into um, Pleasant Valley. Tricky. So 
Yeah, it's a problem with Will. He's just a little bit too loud. Should be near the entrance now. There you go. Well, so, we've made it to Pleasant Valley. So I think we are going to drop our coal. Let's drop it here. I mean, 18 is a lot. Keep four. So I'm not entirely sure which side of the map we're on. My stomach um, feels like an empty pit. Let's just head down. We'll see if we can see anything. Make sure you crouch. Just minimises the damage. I was going to say, uh, I'll get a stone out in case there's a wolf, but anyway, we'll just carry on. There you go. We're the near the community centre. Is it Thompson's Crossing? My fingers feel numb. It's okay. We'll get you indoors. So I think we'll uh, we'll come back to this side of the bridge. I think let's just um, check out the store for some food and then get into the. Uh, Community centre. I need to find something to drink. I think sometimes there's a bear here as well, so just need to be careful. Yep, Thompson's crossing. This will come in handy. Yes, it will. I feel like we're pretty good now for matches until we get the um, Maglens. Just check out in here. Another book, some notes. Could use this sewing kit. All right. So much paint. Let's do this uh, truck. Oh, just check this. So we'll do this truck and then head to the community. 
center. And it's good because at least we know we've got a bed in here. So we'll do a little bit of this. What have we here? Hoodie. Let's have a look. Is it any better? No. Uh, we'll do a little bit of this. We'll do the kitchen, and then we'll sleep. There is the uh, recipe, which I think is sometimes in here. So we just need to make sure we pick that up. No, nothing. It's got lots of food now. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. I'm taking a bit of damage, but it's not too bad because we know we're safe. Can opener. Nice. So we don't need to smash open any tins anymore. Perfect. And there it is. The stew. First recipe down. Thank goodness. And stuff. I see a skillet. Just out of this stuff. Yay. Brilliant. It's what we wanted. And just a random carrot. Then I need to check the top of the fridge. Yep. Yeah, see something there. There's always something there. And yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there. I might just eat and drink. Sleep an hour. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's it for us today. Uh, I'll loot the rest of this next time. So, yeah, so uh, thank you very much for um, watching. And we'll see you again next time. And hopefully we will uh, go to the farmhouse, check out, see if there's any loot there. Uh, we do need to keep our eyes open for a bedroll, but yeah, brilliant and a really good run. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.